Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Dome Sleep Conditioner, so stay tuned. I'm the type of person that needs some sort of white noise, some sort of uh, specific noise to be able to go to sleep. Um, this started when I was in the Navy. What happened was, um, being on a ship, you have, you know, huge, huge uh, fans blowing air through ventilation to all the spaces on the ship because everything is like closed up tight. If you didn't have ventilation, it would quickly get hot and you would feel like you're suffocating. But anyway, when the ship dropped the load, which means it lost power, lost propulsion or something, that ventilation would stop. And that would give you cause to wake up. Uh, usually, you, you you know, it's something major. It might even be um, a precursor to going to general quarters. So when, when that ventilation stopped, something was wrong. Then later on through my career, I um, started getting tinnitus, you know, because I sat... Uh, very close to a lot of gear that ran off of 400 hertz and 400 hertz transformers screeching, you know, and eventually uh, tinnitus, really, really bad. So I need some sort of white noise to overcome that. Also, another thing that these um, machines do, white noise makers, uh, sound conditioner, sleep machine, whatever you want to call it, is that it could also act as a sound screen. So if you're somebody who is very sensitive to noises and, and you sleep very lightly, it can sort of uh, bring that noise level up higher than those other little noises here and there. Like, you know, if you close your windows and everything, but you could barely still hear that dog barking up the block, it can hopefully block that out. If this is not loud enough, and trust me, this is pretty loud, you can just bring it closer. Um, and other noises, you know, I was, uh, I, I, was brought up in the Bronx so uh, as far as noises are concerned I could sleep through just about anything because sirens and and the uh, elevator subway train that was you know a couple of blocks away would screech as it went around that turn um, I could sleep through noises but I, I can't sleep if it's dead quiet so anyway um, let's take a look at this sleep machine <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you, I, I'm telling you right now, I really, really love this <laughs> machine. Um, before this, I had, again, I had a very large fan that I had to keep going in, in my room in order to sleep. But anyway, um, Dome, right here, spelled D-O-H-M, is a company that, um, if you look it up on the internet, it's under a company called Marpac, spelled M-A-R-P-A-C. Um, They've been around since 1962, and they made the original white noise machine. Um, and it's mechanical, it's not electronic. Now, this is important, at least to me, because all those electronic sound makers, where they make, uh, you hear, like, crickets at night, or waterfall, or white noise, never seemed to sound right. And when the sound looped, I could actually pick up where it looped to the beginning, and I would obsess on that, and it, it just wouldn't work. I have to have a analog, a, a real mechanical noise maker of some sort, white noise maker, and this is it. Also, besides being around since 1962, proudly made in the USA, even checked and signed somebody taking responsibility of the quality, so that, that really goes a long way for me. So again, they've been around since 1962, the person who invented this, um, they started out uh, making something to solve their own problem. They, um, the, the, I forgot the gentleman's name at Marpac, but basically he took a dog bowl, <laughs> turned it upside down, a metal dog bowl, and used a, a can opener and made notches around the, the edges and then mounted a motor with a fan on a piece of wood and put the bowl <laughs> over the top of it. And... Um, all of a sudden he's selling it to his friends and starting a company and fast forward to 2014 oh! <laughs> anyway I want to show you this um, by the way fifty dollars I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond um, this is the National Sleep Foundation version the NSF version which is their version that has two speeds 
and uh, let's just go ahead and start demonstrating this so in the middle it's off press it up for low and all the way down for high and I'll tell you this is putting me to sleep right now now so what you have is inside here you have basically like a fan blade that spins around in there really fast a really good solid motor all metal in there and it's making that nice white noise now it doesn't just stop there you could sort of tune it and you can see it has holes and my hair <laughs> down on the bottom it also has these slits on the sides and it has holes on top and you can actually turn these to close off some of the holes or open up more of the holes and on the side you have slits that by bringing this down or up just by turning it you can hear how it changes the tone it makes it sound like a more hollow sound or, or a sharper sound now I know some of you might say is that blowing out a lot of air no it, it you can feel a little bit but it's not really meant to be a fan it's meant to make the noise so you could sort of tweak this to the sound you like Again, it could go very high, very loud, or you could tone it down where you're, you're barely hearing it. But for most people, this is more than loud enough to be able to mask sound, to act as a sound screen. And it definitely puts me right to sleep. Now again, there are other noise makers or sound screens, sound machines, um, whatever you want to call them, out there. And there's even one that's as seen on TV. I think it's like only 29 bucks. Trust me, it's not made half as good as this one that's made in the USA. This thing is solid. And again, if the uh, electronic ones just didn't seem to seem right, you need to give one of these mechanical um, type, analog type, the uh, the chance because. I can't sleep without mine. This is uh, th this is the first white noise maker that I've come across that actually has replaced my big blower <laughs> fan in my bedroom. This thing works so good. Um, I did fail to point out on the bottom. You can see it has these nice um, rubber feet. Not really rubber, I forgot what you call this type of material, but it's a rubbery kind of clear material, but that dampens it so you don't get any vibration. I haven't heard any vibration whatsoever, just that beautiful white noise, and I've been sleeping so much better with this when um, when my mind is not keeping me awake, because sometimes, you know, I just, I'm constantly thinking <laughs> up things on how to do things and troubleshooting things in my head and sometimes I can't turn it off at night and there's not a machine in the world that's going to help um, it, uh, you know even sleeping pills don't help me it's weird like I, I could take a little bit but if I just take a just a little too much next, next thing you know I got like my legs get restless and it, it goes too far and I can't sleep and then I'm tired and it's really weird. But anyway, trust me, if you, if you have a hard time sleeping, give this a shot. Trust me. Okay, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber and especially you. And I hope you have a great evening and a good night.